I'm Ivan Lopez. I'm an artist uh, and designer here in San Francisco, California. Born in Colombia. I don't want to say like just artist, but creative. And then just like, like always like creative thinking, creative thinker. Yeah, we've been on this journey with, uh, with the studio. We have a studio named Artillery, which is today a ceramic studio. We've opened up the space for other creative minds to come through and make uh, their pottery, their sculptures. I think I started art with the perspective of like industrial design and doing something more corporate. Uh, and then my roots from like my indigenous Colombian side has been always kind of pulling at my uh, ideas around sustainability and kind of like guide, re redirecting some of that energy and thinking about art in a more holistic way versus something so aligned with like a product or like a tug of war same with like the identity of being in in, in the United States and then having uh, spent so much time and there's so much family and so many adventures that I've had in South America. So it's like these like two very different cultures that are that play out uh, and sometimes they they kind of converge in the painting that I make and so you can see like there's a form but then there's a lot of chaos. <laughs> so uh, you know and I think <clears throat> uh, art for me has always been about observation. So just like kind of like taking a lens and like really like focusing in on something and then like zooming out and then like focusing on something else and zooming out and uh, I see it I see it also as very tied to a scientific process in a sense where you're kind of observing and then changing your hypothesis as you go around in a sense you're just like oh I saw this and then I do this and then this happens and I've focused around painting for you know more than 15 years now uh, and ceramics kind of parallel in that time uh, not particularly like married just to that meet to those mediums but more like um, attached to the philosophy of how is it that um, art can be a vehicle to responding to how we want to experience life as human beings and so this series that we that Hunter curated um, recently uh, you know it's kind of been like hitting in my house <laughs> in my studio for you know quite some time it's a story more of like telling like of questioning my own humanity, my own relationship, my own movement around the earth. And so all these forms, all these human beings are kind of in these strange positions where they're like, you know, where they have like their leg up or they're kind of like on their head or they're, you know, and that kind of stems from my experience of doing capoeira and, um, you know, growing up here at Mission Cultural Center and doing capoeira and doing dance and, uh, that being one of the first art forms that I kind of really tapped into uh, and learning that there's a lot of different ways to like look at life and there's a lot of ways of like how you navigate and how you like um, dodge you know because there'll be like movements that that'll like force you to like kind of duck and tuck and then there's movements where you kind of be like expressive or you're, like pushing out energy um, but it's always this dance and it's always about keeping them the movement the momentum alive and then also synchronizing with like all the people, you know, in, in Capoeira you have like the hola, you have the instruments, you have the people clapping, you have the singing, there's all these things that are happening. And so in these like wild human uh, paintings, you know, it's like bringing that back to light, how sometimes in the day to day we, you know, we'll do, we'll do movement for like maybe one hour, but we'll do like, we'll do our other jobs you know, for like nine hours, <laughs> you know? So it's that, where do you find that balance? And that's kind of where the art has been about. It's, it's like, how do I find this balance through observation, through like generating the, these hypotheses, and then how they can like help me like reharmonize my experience as a human being. Um, and it gets tricky because you go on social media and a lot of the way that you sometimes are experiencing art nowadays is through these like hyper fast, like, show me something 15 seconds. I need to see something 15 seconds. Like, you know, I need to be impressed in 15 seconds. And behind those 15 seconds, it's like someone's like life work or someone's like, you know, again, going back to observation, like someone's observation, their perspective, their drawings, their ceramics, their, you know, their video, their photography. It's, they didn't spend 15 seconds creating that at all. You know, they've spent 
months, years, like trying to synthesize, you know, even if it's just one image and also perfect the art of like what that image, what they're communicating. Sometimes it gets over, uh, oversimplified, you know, in a sense. And, and it's beautiful to like take the opportunity to like kind of like do a video because a lot of people are going to probably go to the, you know, to this location and see the paintings and, you know, maybe like, you know, glance at them. But, you know, really invite people to like, not just in, in the painting dimension, but in all dimensions to like, really like sit down and like observe. Leaving space for silence, you know, even though that can be a little bit uncomfortable in the contemporary world, sometimes like quietness uh, is perceived as so sometimes even dangerous. I feel like being, you know, I'm sometimes at these like social <laughs> gatherings and I'll find myself like, just kind of like, just consumed by there's just so much going on that I don't that I don't even know how to respond I'm just like I'm just like not, you know like nodding and smiling and and then at the end of the whole thing when I've kind of everything's like you know everything's over I'm like oh yeah I had I had something to say you know but I think it's you know it goes back to <clears throat> how we're processing uh, the world uh, and sometimes I think I feel a little rushed to process the world and um, but that's why I really like uh, taking the time to make art because you can, you know, close the door or wake up early in the morning and just give yourself like three hours to just, just like process the world, you know. Uh, I think contemporary life sometimes, uh, you know, a lot of people have always been like, yeah, go, you know, go do therapy, go do therapy, go talk, go, you know. Uh, and I think it's, yeah, I think it's important. I think it's wonderful, but I think there's a lot of ways um, to kind of heal and to like reset, you know, um, and art, art can be one of those mediums through which you can like reset and recalibrate yourself and, and that, that's why I continue to practice it. And artillery is really about, um, I think in the, in the 15 years that we've been around now, just, it's really been about now introducing that opportunity to more people. Um, and just like bringing it to the surface, like, hey, this is a dimension that uh, isn't, that will like help you, you know, grow or help you expand or help you raise your awareness of whatever it is that you're trying to pursue in life. Uh, and so we just want to kind of offer that space of, like offer that space, you know, last week we did a song circle here um, in this garden. And it was, you know, it was beautiful to see like people gather to want to sing songs and you know that you know just even holding those spaces you know even you know ceramics is one thing but having those spaces to just like gather and just do things um, experimentally um, where you can share some food uh, where you can like maybe learn something new get in an uncomfortable position <laughs> it's always good yeah so that's what uh that's what we do here at our art artillery. That's what I've been doing <laughs> and continue to do. I think the vision for for where we're going towards um, uh, with with the studio and with the art is also in response to like a lot of the energies that are converging, uh, like with like capitalism and like AI and you know indigenous practices and uh, like. Interper interpersonal healing, like we're trying to find like architecture, we're trying to find a, a new approach to, um, you know, how we're going to respond to some of those things, because um, there's still like a whole generation of people are coming, but like, you know, behind us, you know, kids that are coming in, and we hope that like, what we do is, what we do here as, as artists, or what I do here as artists is to like, leave a, leave a, you know, leave a path, you know, opened up for like a, for another exploration and maybe a different light. And the path isn't so much to say like, this is a direction, but more to like uh, plant those seeds of like, how do I independently think and learn and navigate the world? And so that's kind of what the art is. And even the stuff that we, pre that I present to some of the landscapes are spaces that I go to frequently to to gather some of the, you know, that take time to be in silence, take time to, you know, move my body in different ways so that I can, so that I can 
pick up wisdom, you know, like that unspoken wisdom, that uh, stuff that no one tells you because because we're all learning it. <laughs> so that's where the art's going for the future. <laughs> this sounds vague, but it's um, you know, it's uh, it becomes clear as you go. <laughs> yeah.